Hi, this is Myra with Boutique Paint. I'm going to do some transfers and whatnot, maybe some stamps, some maybe stencils. I don't know. We're going to see. But I got these journals and um, I got them actually at a secondhand store. But you could do this with any book. And if you're specifically wanting something that looks like this, you could go to... Um, you know your local bookstore and they will probably have something like that i started to do this project um on a hardbound book this is just a um slide that off um like blank page book and i thought this would be good for journaling or watercolor or whatever and so I started to do it on that, and then I found these, and I thought, no, I really want to do something on these. Um, so just look around. You can do it, like I said, on anything. So if I can find a place to set that back down. There we go. Um, this one I'm going to leave this color because I think it's kind of uh, organic looking. And this one I went ahead and painted, and I just used um, a foam brush, regular foam brush, so I, it was smooth and I didn't worry about covering it super well. I just, as you can see, there's some lines in there. Um, and I used aviary, uh, DIY paint on that one. And I kind of painted this. I didn't paint the other side yet. I just took my brush and, and, and got that painted. So on this one, I, I sucked the string in so that I could go ahead and work on this surface and set this aside real quick and we're using for um the first part of this for stencils we're going to use um whispering willow stencils so i'm gonna on this one i'm going to do the mushrooms and then on the other one i'm going to do floral um and i might stamp something on it but i think i'm going to start with the transfers so these are the the mushrooms I picked out because I thought that would be appropriate for something that's kind of brown and organic. Um, we're going to see how this works because I'm going to, I don't know if I want to cut this and do half and half. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just cut. Do I want to do it? I want to do it like there. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut along that line. Luckily, IOD puts these lines so it makes it really easy to cut a straight line. So I'm going to put that one there. And I did not give this a test run on just putting it straight on this. Um, I should have probably done it on the back. I want to cover up the brand name of this. I'm going to just line it up with that. It feels like it's going to go. And I like usual, this is the thing that takes the most amount of time.
very cute. Isn't that adorable? So I think that one I'm just going to leave like that. So this one I think I want to do a little bit more. I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to start with a stamp. So this might be a little tricky since this, um, the book wants to fold up. I have my kindest regards stamp. You could use one of the newer stamps that isn't full page for this. And then you want it, two things. You want to make sure your stamp is the right side. I sometimes stamp this one upside down because I'm not paying attention and it's like, oh shoot. And then you want your book um, the right direction. Now this particular book has a little place to put cards. So I know that's that way. I guess it could go that way, huh? But then it would be in, in the back. But So I'm going to... I want to stamp the front. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this down and make sure. Yeah, see, that's that's the top. So I'm going to just set this down right on top of it. And that way I can just roll the whole thing out on it. Perfect. And it doesn't matter if you miss a spot or two because you're going to be, oh, see, and I got um, some of that. And I could touch that up with a little bit of paint or we'll see what, what we end up doing there. Um, so I'm going to let... Well, I need to stamp the other side, I think, too. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like folded up. I think it's okay. I don't think I want to stamp the other side. So I'm going to let this dry. And I'll get my stencil out, because I think I want to do a stencil maybe on this side. So um, I'm going to let this dry. Okay, so I grabbed our Florence stencil, and because I only stamped to a certain point, I went ahead and putting this almost to um, the writing. And I'm going to try a little experiment. Um, I'm using more of the same green and some white, and I'm just going to kind of Put this on top. I thought, you know, you could do the same green um, on top and then it would be, I don't know how much it would show up, but because I didn't put um, that much paint onto the book, I didn't paint that much onto the book, I thought maybe it would show up just darker. So I'm just pouncing this. This is a um, just a foam brush that you can use for stenciling. Just trying to make sure I get product in. And it doesn't have to be perfect on this. Um, it can be soft. If you don't do it perfect every time, then it kind of gives it a soft um, feel to it. If you don't get everywhere, not do it every time. I'm holding tight on to this because for some reason the stencil has um, stencil glue on both sides of the stencil. I'm not sure how I did that, but here we are. And I don't think I can blame that one on anybody else. Can't say those darn kids. <laughs> So I'm just pouncing. I'm just going up and down and I'm just tapping the, the paint in there so I'm getting a little bit of each color and I'm kind of spinning it also. But I didn't want stark white. I knew that. I didn't want something 
you know, that was really uh, stood out too much. So I'm going to pull up one side and see how we're doing. Looks pretty good. All right, set that aside. And we should let that dry. So we'll go over here. And I think what we're going to do, I pulled these two items. And I'm going to, I don't know how far over that goes. So I think I do need to dry that so I can fold it. Okay, so this is all dry. And let's see. I might just do that all on that side. Or I might tuck it under a little bit. I think that's what I will do there. Now, if this was a more rigid book, I think what I would do um, is do the stencil with maybe um, either some salt wash mixed in to give it a little bit of texture or... Um, you could also, you know, thicken up the paint with the paint frosting, DIYs paint frosting. Both products you can mix in with your paints. I have not tried, I don't think I've tried the paint frosting on any other uh, brand of paint. I don't see why it wouldn't work, um, but you might need to experiment a little bit. I should do that. I'm just trying to remember if I had or not. It came out a year ago. That was, you know, a year ago. It's hard to remember a year ago. I know you used it in a couple videos. But I do like the technique that this came out of mixing the, the two colors. here too. There we go. And once again, I'm just gonna smooth those little pieces that are off that over. But that is turning out cute. Do we want to do that? Kind of there off that. Let's give that a try. This one, I'm just going to take my fingernail and kind of pull it. There we go. Pull that off. And then once again, I'll take the shiny side. And I am loving how this one's turning out. I like the other one, too. Uh, no, the other one's just stinking adorable, too. Um, this is another reason why you don't want to... See, I used the wrong side. And then it can come off on this. That's another reason why you want to use... Now I have this, which I'm not loving. So we need something to go up there, I think. Uh, maybe just a little something. Now I could either put the stencil back across there and do something, but I think um, I want some more of those kind of drapey leaves maybe coming down a little bit. These guys that I did on the other one. Or this uh, transfer has just got so many pretty little little things on it it's hard to to decide um yeah maybe i'll just do that right there on that leaf section and don't be afraid to you know cut these things up you don't have to use that as a whole just grab and these are perfect projects for your scrap stuff 
you know, you've got that pile, or hopefully it's in a uh, file folder, of all your little bits and pieces. This is the perfect project for this. I think I'm just going to do it across there like that. Let's see how that looks once I get the, the backing off of it, if I can get the backing off of that. Now, normally I would have cut that because that's wasteful, but in this case, we're just going to go with it. Oop. Hey guys, I'm having a doozer of a hot flash. Whew. Right when I think I'm over it, then they start, they come back. Okay, so we have that. So you could either roll that over, which would be kind of cute, actually. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And it's a little bit on the other side. And then shiny side. Don't listen to what I said before about you could use either side. You really don't want to use because, oh, it's doing it with this too. Do I? Maybe it's just my fingers that it's taking it off. I don't know. I'm curious which side that is on now. It must be just my fingers. Okay. And there we go. So now I'm going to take some big top if I can get this open. Okay. Got the lid off. I got a foam brush. If I have, if you're young, younger than I am, um, and you're watching this and you're like, ah, my mom always is complaining about hot flashes or somebody's always complaining about hot flashes. I hope that you never have to go through this. That's all I have to say. It is not fun. You could probably wax this also. Um, it's going to, I don't see that that would be a problem. Let's scoot this aside. So that's it for today. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, or you can go to our website at www.boutiquepaint.com and shoot me an email from there. And you can find all of these products also on our website. Thank you for joining me. Bye.